What is up guys today I come to you yet with another weekly review of Kiss Him Not Me and we are at episode 7 and it makes me realize that we have 5 more episodes, 5 more weeks till the finale and I'm not ready to say goodbye to this anime as of yet but nonetheless so let's enjoy what we have for now. Now for this week's episode um particularly for me um it was an okay episode. It wasn't the funniest. Um, simply because of what they did in this episode that kind of really threw me in for the loop and I was not expecting it at all. Now this episode dealt mainly with, you know, mushrooms. And I say that because our main characters, at this point you say main characters, the, the, the main focus group, um, they went on a trip, and it's because um, Kai and Nishina wanted to visit the burial grounds of their favorite anime character, who was reflected in real life, um, Same Taurus. So the anime character in that um, Kaichu anime that they're watching is a character that's reflected on a real life um warrior um years ago. So of course, you know, whenever characters are based off of of a real people, historical people, usually they are portrayed in the anime to be a lot better looking than their real life counterpart. So they're kind of hallucinated on that part, but nonetheless it's, it's fascinating to see that they're interested in visiting and understanding the real life Same Taurus. So they go there with the guys and they go to the burial grounds and they visit that place. Um, they also hear stories about how like Samator, the real Samator, went into war to save his son and that he was killed and like part of his body is on one island and the, the head is on another island and if they go to the place where his head lays, where it's buried, over there is cursed. So Takai and Nishina, they don't care about that, they want to go see the burial ground. So they go there and, and you know take pictures and it's when they're coming back that randomly there is a thunderstorm on the lake and everybody drowns. Now this may have been the f most favorite part of the episode. There are at least some favorite parts of the episode for, for the viewers. One being the five and seven kiss. Um, you may want to take it as that, but like if, when it comes to life and that, you know, you have to perform CPR. So I think a lot of people are going crazy with the fact that Igarashi and uh, Nashina, uh, I mean, not Nashina, Nanashima, uh, kiss but it was for like you know life and death so that Nanashima wouldn't die if he did that would be kind of random if you think about it because this is supposed to be like a light comedy show and nothing serious is supposed to really happen in this series and the next being with Mitsumi and Kai now we still don't know exactly what Mitsumi's feelings were for Kai but this may give us a leeway to seeing how he may feel for her hopefully in, in another episode they will give explana um, uh, explanation on how Mitsumi truly feels for Kai because in this episode um you know them being in the water and catching a cold and then it's raining Kai ends up having um nearly having um hypothermia and of course survival um instincts and survivor skills you do not continuously wear your wet clothes when you're trying to stay warm so of course he had to shed their clothes off and try to keep her warm and he's he's an actual gentleman because in most cases in other anime and possibly even with the, some of the characters in this in this show, they probably would have tried to take advantage of the situation that they had to strip down till they're nearly naked, they're only left in their underwear, and possibly try to land a kiss on Kai while she's unconscious. But um, I, like I said, they may have attempt, possibly they may not go all the way through, but they could have attempted, but Mitsumi did not do that. And then he was also very sorry is that like he puts back on her clothes, um, while looking away and she's still unconscious and when she wakes up he practically denies on what has happened she's thinking that when she wakes up she always had her clothes on so Mitsumi you know you get extra bony po uh, extra brownie points in this episode because you know you continuously continue to be the best guy in this series okay that was possibly my favorite moment because it shows that Mitsumi is a type of person that respects her boundaries and he does care for her. We just want confirmation on what his feelings are for her. That's that's all I want. And I think this may be the leeway to show us, 
you know what his feelings will be for her in the future if he still thinks of her as a very good friend or he actually does care for her and sees her as a woman so you know like i said they, there was some spirits this this episode threw some some loophole for me so that's why like this episode wasn't as strong as the other episodes because we were dealing with spirits in this episode and they were using charms and there was even a, a they threw in a reference for naruto um you have to keep out for those references because that's what um kiss and not me does they like to throw out a lot of manga and anime references in this show and one of them had to be naruto and it comes to find out that all these spirits that they saw in this episode was due to the mushrooms that they ate back in the cabin but to some extent actually what they saw was actually true because the charm that um mitsumi was using against the samitora spirit before it tried to kill him and kai it was damaged when they were back in the cabin they think everything's okay he looks at the charm and it's slightly um damaged it is it's teared up and it's where it looks like it's weared out and it looks like only mitsumi knows that to some extent everything that they experienced back on the other island was actually true so some stuff may have been false but there was to some uh, to some extent some of the stuff that they experienced actually happened so i mean you know it was weird it it, it kind of came off track from what we're usually used to so it, it didn't really have a big impact in this episode like the other episodes the the comedy wasn't all that you know huge it was okay to some extent but um it was still it was still enjoyable to watch but possibly not as enjoyable as the past six episodes that happened before but nonetheless um from what i saw in the preview which i won't spoil because some people may have um you know try to skip that part we're gonna get some character growth for for one of the characters so it looks like they're gonna get back on track for the next episode and i can't wait for that so if you guys saw this week's episode of kiss him not me episode seven do drop a comment down below on how you felt about this week's episode what was one of your most favorite moments of this week's episode the links are in the description box as always so, so you guys can check that out and i'm kimmy chan of anime legends podcast and i will see you guys later bye